they're good. Each one. I mean, they're you know, <laughs> every game they play but one has been a down to the last minute, and that's they control the clock. You know, they, they limit possessions. The turnovers were huge, right? Uh, five, I think it five turnovers. That was huge, and really, uh, you know, they're one of the more physical defenses. They they give a lot of looks that can be confusing, and they give out a few times. What about Andre's game? Oh my gosh, yeah. It's you just seem to break things open. Yeah, you know, he's a tremendous player. It's not just with the ball in his hands, it's his blocking, it's running off other things. And, uh, but he was uh, uh, had another trick in game. It's kind of been without break with those turnovers. Yeah, they're a tough team to play against. The quarterback is tremendously athletic. He had thrown, I believe, one interception from the this team, one interception. And, you know, we got him in the red zone early. We got him a couple other times, and uh, that was huge. So what about Jester's play? It seemed to be, I mean, if they get that two-point conversion, it's 19-11. Yeah, and, you know, his hustle, his effort, he has been so steady for us. And, you know, it doesn't always show up on the highlights. That will show up on the yeah, highlights. Yeah, that hurdle. But, yeah, <laughs> but he is, he's a legit athlete, and, uh, you know, he's been doing it for a long time with us. What about Liam's another, I think they say I'm 89. telling Liam to get down. I mean, <laughs> I'm like, just get down. Like, you know. yeah. hey, Liam, hey. you know, he's, he's undisciplined, I guess. That's why I said to him, um, he couldn't hear me. He's like, you did? I was like, I was trying to. I was like, you know, he's, he's beating, he's flying through there. Like, we got some guys that want to play running back. Bob, are some of those plays like the, the muff punt, the two-point conversion interception, are those – do they give a, a, a jolt on the offensive side as well to be like, all right, we're, we're still in this and, and, you know, the field yeah. possession flips and things like I, that? I think the thing we've shown, if you play really hard for 60 minutes, you're going to get a few of those, right? If you're disciplined, we're doing a great job making the right decision on offense. They got us a few times and we threw it away, right? We did a really good job with that. Being first and 20 as many times as we were is not a good way to win. That, that put us in a really adverse situation. We have to clean that up. You know, we're playing teams, including next week, that, you know, it doesn't give up big plays. I mean, we're first and 20 or second and 20. I think that happened at least five or six times. You're putting yourself in a position where you're likely to punt. And that not hurts. How, how do you feel about this defense as you've got three Ivy League games left? I mean, after another showing like this, but also just all year, do you feel like that they, they can take on anybody in this league? Well, I think they play hard. Right, it's kind of, you know, you see a lot of stuff, it's 50 year anniversary of the Dolphins. And there's nobody that's like throwing up these amazing stats, but the group effort, and I'm not saying we're the 72 Dolphins. No, no. What I'm saying is, <laughs> that, that was, they were nicknamed the no-name group, right? And I feel like nobody's putting up these like, wow, stats. Yeah, but they're playing so well as a group. And even, you know, we misplayed, they hit us on some corner routes, free throws by the quarterback, hit us in that little hole. Nobody panics. Like, they just go to the next play, and I think we had some pretty good depth. Coach Verbit's rotating all these D linemen in. And, you know, the coaches are rotating guys in, which when you give up, you know, some yards, and then you have the touchdown return by Lamb, you got to go back on the field. So if you don't have depth, you're putting higher guys on the field. We did a good job of subbing guys. What about at 7-0? What things have you had? Is it just that constant effort? Or? Yeah, I mean, that's been a, a really good standard. I didn't think we were as precise as we could be. I think there are things that we're going to have to look at coaching-wise. We could put them in better positions. But when you play with that effort, you're, you know, exactly. win or lose, you're proud of, you know, guys. You can feel good about yourself when you play with that effort. When you got guys like Andre and Matt, yeah. <laughs> and you have talent, you might make a few big plays. What about Dartmouth, always good battle with them. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I, I told the guys, that was a pretty rough feeling. I just, you know, post-game message. You, you know, I didn't feel like I led them as well as I could have. They have a tremendous coach, a tremendous team. And, you know, I have not led them in a way to match that standard. And we're going to have to have a great week this week. And buckle down and start tomorrow. Coach, you mentioned the defensive line rotation. That's obviously a very deep and versatile group. Obviously, Uche's a, a great player, but can you talk about that group as a whole and how great that rotation is? Yeah, that's been one of the, the big things, right? That you got Uche and you got Stag. You got Carter Christopher, Nate Marty, Jonathan Pitt, right? Defensive end, we got Mike Azevedo. Um, we'll play Kevin Bruce. We'll play, uh, um, who else is in the rotation? Uh, uh, Ryan Ox. 
right? We got eight guys playing in those three positions. And one guy comes in, four or five plays, you see him like this, next guy comes in. And, you know, they're really strong and they're not making mistakes. It's hard sometimes when you're playing a lot of guys, they don't have enough reps. Herbs has done a great job making sure they're not making a gap in. What about your secondary? How did you be happy with a couple of nice picks you know, there? They, they, I know they were, they were an inexperienced group coming in. Yeah, that's what we talked about that in uh, August um, when we met, that, that they're replacing a lot of three and four year starters. And from spring on, they've been so disciplined. And um, we're going to have to continue to do that. But, you know, Cornell's running, they're running. You know, they throw bubble, then they throw bubble and go. Or they throw, you know, uh, a toss into the boundary, then it's fake the toss. And, we did such a good job making sure, sometimes we gave up an eight yard play, but we're, you know, we're not, you know, at the end of the game we did, we're not giving up a lot of plays that are, you know, those, they call them explosive plays or chunk yeah. plays. Yeah. We're not giving those up and it's hard for team. Like that first drive, Dartmouth, I mean Dartmouth, Cornell drove it right down our throats. They're on, you know, in the, in the tight red zone and great job, right. they, they, they try to do a quarterback run pass, which that quarterback's been great in the red zone running, and Rutland, great right this one. Yeah, Wall, Wall had a nice one. And, and you do that when you trust the line doctors in the D line, you don't bite up. And, and that was really nice. Yeah, Thanks for your time. Thank you. Just talking about that stretch of food. Um, you know, sometimes things don't work out as you plan, or so, um, you know, so you just have to figure those things out and then get rolling. What about that first touch? You had the out of bounds, and then he went right back to you. What, yep. what were you thinking there? I was just, uh, I know what I did wrong on the first one, so I corrected on the second one, and it became a touchdown, so it was nice. And then the second one over the top was from like 36 yards. What did yeah. you see on that play? Was it man coverage? Uh, it was like quarters, and so the safety came down because we had a dig, and so Bobo pulled the safety, so that allowed me to just run free, basically. So it was nice. When you when your uh, defense is having a game like they did today, just yeah. bending but never breaking, and all those interceptions, what does that do for the offensive guys? You know, it always gives us juice. You know, we always look to each other to give each other energy, and you know, we're always like really close with the guys on the defense, so they always pick us up. Well, we pick them up, and so it's a give and take. It was like, your last two games, it seems like you're really kind of on a roll. Is the ball kind of finding here, you here the last couple weeks? Um, you know, I've been blessed with a great quarterback. And so, you know, when we're on, I think we have become more and more comfortable as the season went on just because in the summer, you know, it was hard for me to uh, work with him because of my I had foot surgery. And so now as we're mid-season form, and so it kind of feels like, you know, bread and butter. It feels like the connection between you and Blake has just been getting better and better each week. Can you talk about him as a quarterback, kind of what you've I seen? Mean, he's a great guy. He puts the ball in places that only I can get it. You know, and he trusts us, you know, and that's the biggest thing between receiver, uh, receiver and quarterback. He trusts me, I trust him, and so he's got to go out there and make plays. I think you hit your 100th career um, reception today. How did that feel? I honestly didn't know about it until <laughs> after. Uh, I just, I just kind of go and just play, you know, and so it's, it's a nice, uh, like, a uh, nice mark to hit, but, you know, I, I'm always looking for the W, so. What about you and Dylan? It seems like you guys have really developed into a one-two kind of punch. Yeah. Just, you know, open up things for each other and just talk about how you work. Yeah, I mean, we, we feed off each other, you know. Um, I would like to think that we're the best. I mean, we're statistically, yeah, statistically up, there. up there. And so we feed off each other, you know. Uh, one guy opens up the other, another guy opens up the other. And so we just feed off each other. And, you know, we trust each other as well to do what we need to do, like blocking, running routes. And so, yeah. About some of the attention and accolades you've been getting from the next level obviously the past few weeks especially it looked like the shrine bowl has been reaching out and stuff like that can you just talk about i know you're focused on this ivy league title but yeah. just kind of what that means to you as well uh it's really great i mean it's just like a culmination of all the work that i've put in and like obviously the, the coaches help me to be in that position and all the players around me but i kind of just focus on the game and trying to when i go into the game i kind of just know what i can do and then everything else will fall into place Seven and zero, three games left to go. How do you feel? You all are set up to take tackle November and some of those tough like Penn and Yale at the end. I mean, every game we just look to go one and zero, and so at, we'll we'll celebrate this win. There's a lot to work on, but you know every game is a different game, and so we just have to come in with the same focus. And I think we've we've done well with that, but you know, yeah. it's always the future. So. But thoughts on Dartmouth? We've had some great battles with them over the years. Yeah, they, we definitely had some great battles with them. Um, you know, we come in uh, every team think, uh, like to every team thinking the same way. You know find out ways to beat them and come out with some passion and heart and come out with the W, hopefully. James Long is a great player. He was really hard to contain. Um, but really what it comes down to is 11 guys playing the same defense and uh, playing it well, doing their role. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job of doing that today. And so we were able to contain them. It was a good game. What about those turnovers? Is that part of the plan or is that just kind of came up in the, in the course of the game? You know, turnovers are always the goal. Uh, five of them, that was, that was a really awesome feeling. Um, like I said, like half those turnovers don't happen if 
the other 10 guys on the team aren't doing their job. You know, Liam, Liam tipped the one to me. Uh, other guys are tipped, like getting pressure, and that leads to interceptions. And so it's, it's always a team effort. Yeah. So, yeah, we talk about now. With your, what was that, a pick two, should we call <laughs> pick it? Pick two, I guess. <laughs> that yeah. must have been awesome. What were you seeing as you were going to the field? When you caught it, did you think you were going to go all the way? Well, yeah, so uh, <laughs> Liam, Liam tipped that to me, so props to him. Um, and I just kind of caught it in stride and did my best to get as much as I could and um, was able to get the sideline and, and, and get two points for our team. So that, that was a good feeling. That, really nice. yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was good that that was, was, on film, won't it? I guess, I guess, yeah. I mean, that, that's just the uh, heat of the moment. I guess that's what I decided to do. You know? I, no I noticed you had been out before. Was your leg bothering you? Or yeah, I had a, um, a slight knee thing, but it ended up being all right. Like, didn't bother you on that? Yeah, no, it didn't bother me. The rest of the game, that was nice. Some of the other teammates, Dawson had two because of an up punt also. Liam, Liam had, you know, so Liam, Liam tips one to you six, and then he yeah. gets a pick six. What is that, what is that, how does that feel for you guys on the sideline? Everybody's eating kind of on the Oh, defense. it feels great. Yeah. I mean, it takes 11 guys to win any game um, on defense. So uh, you like to see that every, everybody's eating, everybody's making plays, and everybody um, shares the burden of, of making plays, you know, so. Um, I can always count on those guys to do their job, and I hope that they can count on me. You, you have had some great defensive games overall as a team this season. Would you rank this maybe as your best? This this game is our yeah. best game. Um, it's up there. I mean, I, I feel like we play pretty hard every game, um, and so I, I don't know what the stats show. Um, but, you know, I just love going out there every week with my guys and playing alongside them. What about at 7 -0? What qualities stand out about this group when you say this player? Um, I think we're selfless. I think uh, I think we play our role very well. I think guys um, play for each other mostly. Guys play with heart and passion. And they play out of love for the guy next to them. And so I really just love the sort of team chemistry that we have. Um, and, you know, always, always have to credit the offense as well. They, they, they play their ass off the league. So, um, yeah. What about thoughts on Dartmouth? You guys have had some great battles with them over the years. What are your thoughts on that for next week? Yeah, I mean, we'll uh, we'll take some time to enjoy this one and then start looking at the film uh, starting tomorrow. And um, I'm sure we'll, we'll get a good game plan for him. And um, it'll, it'll be nice to have him back at, at Princeton, uh, home game. And i um, really looking forward to playing those guys. They're a good team. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thanks very much.